I um, I spoke to my friend Orland Bishop, who's a very very wise human being. Um, because I was just in anguish, and he said he said, "No one ever dies in vain." These people who are, and this was before the um, invasion of Gaza, you know, before a lot of the retaliation had, had, had started, but it had just, it was just starting. Um, and he, he, so he, so I said, you know, so many are about to die. And he says, nobody ever dies in vain, that this is potentially an initiation for the whole planet uh, because it is so visible, you know, because it is at the forefront of consciousness. And, It means that we have an opportunity to honor those who died by making sure that it does not happen again. Like, in a sense, that's what they died for, so that it won't happen again, so that we hold life sacred and put that above being right you know i just wrote another essay a couple days ago called every war is justified because somebody's justifying it you know so it is justified in people's minds and and because people usually use when they say something's justified, they're saying, well, in some objective sense, this is right to kill because of this reason, this reason, and this reason. So what they're doing is an act of justification. Every war, every war, there's somebody justifying it. Every killing, there's somebody justifying it. Which means, in my mind, that the problem is justification which means to make it right in your mind, to make it right. Everybody has a way to make it right to kill. And, you know, maybe sometimes if you agree with the premises, maybe it is right, you know? You can make all kinds of reasons why it's right. But I'm not interested in that. I'm not interested in what's right. I'm interested in you know, a mother trying to dig her child out of the rubble of a destroyed building with her hands because she has no tools. You know, I'm 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 interested in in the 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 whimpers of children and the cries of mothers and the, the wailing of brothers and sisters and parents, you know, like <laughs> can't we be there, you know? And if the deaths of all of these people can bring us there, then they will not have died in vain. <laughs>